The Pratt Fall is one of the oldest tricks in the comedy book. There's nothing like a good slip and fall to make the audience laugh. But those kinds of falls are nothing to laugh at in real life because 13 million people are injured every year from slips, trips, and falls. As Matt Mahar reports, researchers are trying to do something about it. Take a look at this guy caught on store surveillance video. He pretends to fall down not once, not twice, but three times before finally getting some attention. Or this guy who stages a fall at the top of a casino escalator only to create a potentially dangerous pileup at the bottom. But according to the insurance industry, only 10% of falls are bogus. That means most claims are legitimate. In fact, slips, trips, and falls cause about 16,000 deaths and 13 million injuries each year. Like this case, where a man slips on the floor of a Texas convenience store, even knocking over the wet floor sign in the process. Or this case. I just fell swam, just flat down. For 63-year-old Tony Rogers, life has never been the same since that day two years ago when she tripped and fell outside a Texas convenience store, shattering her shoulder, all captured on surveillance video. I was coming across the carpet, tripped and fell and hit my shoulder on the edge of the door that the gentleman was holding open for me. Despite two surgeries, Tony says she has regained just 35% use of her left arm. Even to this day, I can't even hook my own bra, I can't do my own hair, I can't lift much of all with that arm. If you think falls only happen to the elderly, think again. Even athletes in the best of health can be victims. Bingo! Former NBA All-Star Robert Reed says in 14 years playing professional basketball, he never slipped and fell while running up and down the court. But Reed never expected to run into a wet spot oh, yes. as he came off an elevator in this Houston hotel. My right foot hit that wet spot. Next thing you know, I'm flying up in the air, and I came down, and uh, I blacked out. Reed, who needed two surgeries to repair his knee, sued the hotel, winning $285,000. There you go. Here at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center, researchers are trying to find out exactly what happens when people slip. The ultimate goal is to try to prevent injuries from falls. And what we're trying to do in this research is understand how people control their body when they slip. Dr. Mark Redfern offered to put me through the test. Is that okay? Yep. First, they attach reflective markers to my body. The markers will be shot by special cameras placed all around the lab. Next, I'm hooked to a safety harness. Researchers turn me around and cover my ears, so I'll have no idea whether or not they've covered the floor with a slippery substance. All set? I don't know what to expect, as I am instructed to look straight ahead and walk normally. The multiple images from the cameras are combined in a computer to create a three-dimensional image of my fall. I must tell you, this is a pretty typical slip. Typically, when you hit the, uh, a slippery surface, your foot goes out from under you, and you tend to fall down, landing on your hip or your lower back. Hazards weren't too hard to find when we took our hidden cameras to New York area supermarkets. We saw crushed grapes, wilted lettuce, melting ice, and plenty of water. At this store, the wet floor sign had been kicked under one side of the salad bar. Many shoppers didn't see it, and store employees seemed to ignore the hazard for over a half an hour. In fact, most problems weren't cleaned up until we brought them to the store's attention. It oftentimes will take a period of time before the store is aware that that hazard had actually taken place. But Russ Kenzier of the National Floor Safety Institute says floors can be dangerous even if nothing is spilled on them. He says many floor polishes contain oil, which makes floors shiny, but not necessarily safe. Granted, they do increase the appearance of the floor, the shine of the floor, but they do it at the expense of safety. So it may look a lot cleaner, it may look a lot shinier, but it's going to be a lot more slippery. That's true. While technology may provide some relief from these kinds of accidents, experts say as America ages, the number of slips, trips, and falls will continue to rise. Something that sounds as simple as a slip or a fall can change your whole life. It has mine. So what can be done? Well, some businesses are now using something called high-traction floor polishes that have been sewn to reduce slips. And as for you, well, report slips and spills, rather, as soon as you see them, though they can be cleaned up. And you can also buy these slip-resistant shoes. You can get them at most major retailers, and they supposedly will do the trick. For more information, just go to our website, InsideEdition.com.